Welcome to the SAS video tutorial on getting basic summaries from SAS out of your data sets. This is part of Statistics 321 at Virginia Commonwealth University, but anybody can use it. Okay, so we're going to jump right in here. So I've already uploaded my data or loaded my data on, which is my Cycler CPK data, which is linked in the description below in a repository. So you can go there, fetch this data. Uh, it's been used in a previous video where we learned how to import data into SAS. So uh, you probably want to go back and look at that before you do this in order to understand how to get the data in. Because we don't have time to go through getting the data in and then again doing some analyses. So the data is already here. It is in our work directory, which means I can leave off the library or the work library. All right, so we're going to do proc means. Uh, that's the procedure that we're going to use to get this information. Our data that we're going to use is our cycler data. Notice I didn't have to put the library here, but some if you have a specific library, you'll have to use it later. And then you just put the variable you're interested in. You go, oh wait, I don't I don't really remember. What, what was the uh, variables in there? Well, just open it up and look. So first let's get age here because age is pretty simple to get. So we're going to grab age off this and see what we can do. So our variable is equal to age, and then we can just simply run this. This will give us a chance to run our data, and notice that we get here. Uh, you can see I ran it before just to test to make sure everything works right. Um, here we get analysis of age. We get N is 40. We get the mean. We get the standard deviation. We get the minimum and the maximum, and that's kind of okay. Um, it's not a lot of summaries from this, but it does give you basic information if you want simple information uh, by the variable that you're looking at uh, or by groups. And you can put that in there as well, but we'll talk about that later. Okay, so I'm just going to close this out. Now, there's another procedure that gives even more summaries. So uh, for lots of summaries, use this particular procedure, which is PROC univariate. Okay, now PROC univariate will give us lots and lots of summaries uh, all at once. We don't have to ask uh, for lots of these things. So if you're familiar with SAS, you will quickly, or I mean familiar with R, you realize you have to ask for like everything, uh, which is kind of annoying if you're not used to it. But PROC univariate is the opposite problem, as you will quickly see. So we have PROC univariate. That's our procedure we're going to use. The data we're going to use is the cycler data set, which is in the work directory. The variable I'm interested in is age, and purposely uh, lowercase it here, because in general, that's what I do. I'll put the key SAS commands in capital and then put my variables lowercase. Makes visually easier to read. Uh, I try to be consistent, but sometimes I'm not. But after a while, you can get used to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to submit this and see what pops out. Okay, so you can immediately see that a lot more information popped out of this than you were probably thinking was going to jump out. So look at all this information that it kind of spews at you and that you need to sift through. So it gives us the number of observation. This is the sum weights for when it calculates the mean. Notice they're all the same. It's 40. So it'd be like one over 40. Uh, the mean is 29.2. The sum of the observations is 1168. Gives you the standard deviation. Gives you the variance. It gives you the skewness and kurtosis. The skewness and kurtosis are the third and fourth moments for those of you who know what that means. You get the uncorrected sum of squares, you get the corrected sum of squares, you get the coefficient of variation, and the standard error of the mean. It gives you all of that right away. It also gives you basic statistical measures here. So it gives you the mean, the median, the mode, gives you the standard deviation, variance, range, and the interquartile range all from here. Uh, I'm going to skip over this test right now real quick because we'll come back to that in a minute. But it also gives you the quantiles if you wanted them. So you can get Q1, Q3, which are clearly labeled, the minimum, the maximum, and the medium. And it also gives you these other ones in the middle here for the 1%, 5%, 10%, 90%, 95 and 99 Now, you really need to be careful with this uh, test here because a lot of people see a p-value and they get all excited like, Woo! Look! It's, it's not... It's a really small number. Uh, something happened here. Well, it's testing to see if age is equal to zero. 
Okay, so we're pretty sure that our participants weren't born yesterday, literally, uh, and that their age would be zero. So this hypothesis here doesn't make any sense. So just be aware, just because you see a p-value floating in your results somewhere, that doesn't mean it should be something that you should be testing. Notice it says mu equals zero. And we'll come back and use this later to test mu equals other values. All right, so now we have two ways of getting some summaries uh, out of SAS for various variables. Now we can move on to the next video.